quick and over update carpet is all down now looking very snazzy a few desks been built more to come sun's out again it's always sunny in andover um so all these offices are sorted doors to hang so looking pretty cool nice and clean well cleanish so this will all be co-working sort of space uh, IT kit just all being sorted finishing off flooring kitchen so uh, plumbing's all done sinks in so this is a nice big communal kitchen for everyone using the space we've got office through here so all nice and sorted and then whizzing down the corridor <coughs> this will be meeting room uh, there'll be a big tally up on the wall and um, seat quite a few people in there. And then the open plan area here. So we'll get all the furniture in, start dressing this. Big tallies on the wall up there. We'll have sort of banks of desks for desk rental, uh, little meeting pods, this sort of stuff. And then over the back, we've got the individual office spaces which are available um, coming up. So these are all been finished. Doors to be hung door systems to go in but um, yeah all looking very cool upstairs is just full of rubbish currently which will be moved out and we're starting the studio fab lab and artist space on the fifth floor so after days of glorious boiling weather it's now looking a bit dark up there but I have managed to get the turret on <coughs> in place bolted sealed weatherproofed the works i put the 50 cow up at the moment but i'll take that down a bit because it is starting to rain there's a patch of blue sky up there still nice and warm though so let's just head up so no easy feat getting this on but the turret is on i've got the 50 cow i've got an ammo box and the rounds and stuff the dummy rounds all ready to put in. Get this uh, pretty mean looking. Definitely fits the, the vehicle as such. And the whole thing is all greased up. Spins. Hatch opens. And go down. Yeah. Impressive but very tiring and uh, quite a lot of work to get that done but it looks cool shoot back down and hopefully it's all sealed and weatherproof we'll find out as it starts to rain but, yeah, it looks awesome Definitely finishes it off. Another quick update on the truck. Um, haven't done too much because I've been busy sorting other bits and pieces, opening new sites, which obviously you've seen I've dropped in. But it's Sunday, I've just popped over for a little bit. Um, managed to get one of the rear lights all in. These are all LED. That one I've got to finish. Um, we've also got the strobe lights at the back and down the front. I've got all the LED lights, headlights in, indicators are in, strobe lights. We've got the Beast grill uh, name on it, sort of badge. So headlights are in, all working. And um, indicators on the side are working. Grills back on. We've got the turret with the ammo box up there. Um, but yeah, not too much else sorted recently on it. But hopefully I'll finish that. The idea is really just get all the external bits finished um, before the winter sort of arrives and I can start work on the inside. Quick update from Andover site, opening in a couple of weeks. Kitchen all in. I think we've got working water. Yeah, all working. Looking very snazzy. Under this way. So furniture all being built. I'm going to dot these desks out once they're uh, sort of ready and finished. 
sofas, all bits going in, loads of cardboard, everything being sorted, telly stuff up on the wall, big office here, all done and dusted, and we're just building all the furniture down the other end. This will be meeting room, again just storing furniture, don't dot around, tally up on the wall here as well. Loos are all finished, all brand new, sorted, looking snazzy. So yeah, almost ready here, just kitting out. Run upstairs. And then upstairs, I think that's before, all the rubbish is just going downstairs to skip. And then this will be kitted out all the studio bits and pieces um, and the fab lab maker space setup. So We'll start on that very shortly. Just a very quick video. Um, I'm up at Itch and Stoke, which is our next Inky Hive space, opening shortly. Based on the success of the Stockbridge rural site, we are, uh, have another very rural, well, fairly rural, it's five minutes drive from Winchester, really, uh, barn conversion, which is here. So couple, two floors, uh, ground floor, there's predominantly sort of open plan desk space rental, some little offices and up in the loft space, again, office and desk space rental. So to have all our normal Inky Hive offerings, but in a cracking sort of rural location out in the countryside. We've also got some barn space. There's a sort of unused barn down the back here as well, which we might better offer out. Um, for sort of artist space, dirty space, workshop space, and some storage space here, bits and pieces. Yeah, another cracking spot out in the countryside, nice and quiet. High speed internet here as well, which is good. And um, all the normal Inky Hive offering out near Itch and Stoke, um, just outside Winchester. And we'll get this on the site soon. I'll do a tour internally shortly as well. But I've just popped over quickly this morning, do a quick video so we can announce this site opening. So down in Brock, very quickly, just a quick tour and update. That awesome composite cladding is going up. So once the scaffold comes down, it's gonna look pretty cool. Can't remember what I was down, more cladding here. Composite throughout. Kitchens are almost finished and fitted. Looking very snazzy. So we've got meeting room in there. That'll be desk rental room. Um, this is sort of the main reception. And then everything's been carved and fitted. Painted. A few LED lights in. Just putting in Wi-Fi access points. Door systems going in. So people moving in currently. Furniture all to this way. Again, all these offices clean, tidy. Most of these are let already. Again, communal areas were snazz up, ink you hive them, etc. etc. Lots of trunking going in for the door systems. Lots of Ethernet to sort out, which I'll show you in a second. But nice, bright, and airy. Looking very clean and tidy, which is good. All being finished. And then current job is Ethernet wiring the entire building, which is a, a fun job, I suppose. So we've got a lot of cables, but lease line internet, very fast. I think there's a gig connection here on him. Uh, Wi-Fi throughout, 24 seven access the whole lot. And the guys are just finishing off the back two blocks now. So 
so kitchen, there's bits going in. Okay, nice big office, a few more spaces to finish here, but um, nearly done and people are moving in. So I'll probably shoot to Andover next and do a quick update there and that launches. So quick update from Andover. The site's open now, we've launched it. Uh, there's a few bits to finish off as always. I thought I'd do a quick tour of where we sort of got to. Um, this is, well, this will have a wall across shortly to block off the Fab Lab area from the studio. But this is the studio space, which we've just sort of dotted props around currently. There's lots of kit to come. There'll be a, a proper Infinity Cove built over in this corner. We'll have the paper roll backdrop um, electronic system in as well. And there'll be some storage, um, some changing rooms going in. Also a podcasting recording studio I'm going to put in, uh, but predominantly we're going to try and keep the space as it sort of is, open plan, um, and as all our studios, horrible, horrible by the hour, I think it's £25 plus fat an hour, and um, yeah, loads of props, giant teddy obviously, we've got the piano which somehow we managed to get up the stairs, still works, sofas, beds, bath, so the bathtub full of balls, which used to be over at the Chalmers Four studio. A lot more space here to shoot with that. And um, yeah, we get all the kit delivered, the cove in, and then this will be officially open for people to come and use. 24 seven, uh, swipe card entry as always, and all book up online, super simple. And then wandering this way, this is the Fab Lab artist sort of space, which we're just finishing kitting out as well. So rather than rent a desk in an office space, you can rent a bench as an artist or a creator, someone who makes stuff, a bit more messy. Um, we're putting in some of our own toys. So we've got heat press, vinyl cutting, uh, the embroidery machines are coming, silk screen stuff. So uh, we're just sort of finishing off, that's building materials for the studio. But you'll be able to rent a bench and use this as your workshop space, your artist sort of space, and you can make some mess and noise, and it's not a huge issue. And again, these will be bookable on the website shortly when we launch this sort of floor officially. Always downstairs and uh, do a quick update on the office space which people moved into and to show you what's left to do there and what we finished. So we're just finishing off this space, it's a desk rental, I think it's probably changed quite a bit since I last did the video. We've had the launch party, I'll drop in a little video, some press we've had on the space. Hi, it's Becky from In Andover and I'm in the new Incu Hive space in, in the Chantry Centre. Uh, I'd like to welcome George. George, could you tell me a little bit more about this space and what it does? Yeah, so I'm George Scott Welsh and I'm the COO of Incu Hive. Um, we're very excited to be in Andover. We have 8,000 square feet of co-working, flexible office space. We support small businesses that struggle to um, launch, grow um, without the right kind of environment. Um, that environment is like-minded entrepreneurs and startups. Um, business support from Incu Hive. Uh, we have a team of mentors that help all the startups in here. Okay. So we're looking for anyone that's working in their spare room, their garage, their shed, Excellent. and wants to be part of a community. So in terms of the location of this office, it's right in the town centre, um, and there's some really great um, independent businesses. So the people that come in here um, can access uh, coffee shops and things like that. Tell me a little bit more about what, what you think is great about this location in the town centre. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have two types of locations, rural ones and high street um, uh, locations. Um, the high street ones are very, very popular, both because our customers can access all the services mm -hmm. in the town, whether it's lunch or um, retail, um, but also a lot of those retail outlets become customers. Mm -hmm. If you're running an independent business and want to have a slightly more professional meeting and not one in the stock room yeah. um, with a whole lot of stuff <laughs> flying around yeah. then you can come and um, get a membership here yeah. uh, have meetings and yeah. get out of your space um, your high, high street space and, yeah. and do some work which sounds great and upstairs 
there's a, there's a bar full of balls and a bed. I mean, what's, what kind of businesses do you expect to attract here? Because that was great, fun, playful space. So one of our <laughs> mantras is trying to provide uh, a, a, a space for all types of businesses to work in, not just um, mm. people that need a desk. So we have photo studios and fab labs in our other sites. Um, and uh, putting one here was... Um, a no-brainer. Yeah. Um, so we will be doing um, video shoots, photo shoots, um, there's maker space for artists to come and okay. jewellery make or prototype mm -hmm. um, and yeah any customer that comes to us and says we need this yeah. can you help us we'll do our best to, to facilitate Great, that. Yeah. yeah. So how do we find out more George if, I'm, if I want to uh, rent a space which I'm very keen to do <laughs> I love it um, tell us more. You can go onto our website mm -hmm. and my whatsapp numbers on there okay. and just message me come and yes. visit us we'll show you around yeah. um, and then you can, we can talk you through the different packages we offer. So this side again, just being kitted out, but desk space rental going in, got the phone boxes, the games console, bits and pieces, our little meeting pod over here. Okay, we'll start filling this up with interesting and funky kit, I suppose. But we've uh, rented one of the offices out already, but lots of little office spaces available, and probably will be gone soon. But yeah, handover done, dusted really, open, and uh, start filling it up, getting the buzz going.